Hi everyone, welcome. Grace Blossoms for you. This is Lonnie, and forgive the lighting. My um, battery went dead on this one, so hopefully you can still see. Today I'm making um, memo pads, I guess, scrap pads. And these are fabulous for stash busting. I have different ways to do them, and I've already made four. And so this one, oh, you guys, I found this receipt paper at the uh, thrift store. And it is, I think, from the 90s. And so it's turned really dark. Look at that. And then I just put in some coffee dyed paper, whatever other paper I had, and um, just made a packet of, I tried to get them the same size, but... It doesn't really matter what size you make them. So for this one, I punched two holes and then I fed some ribbon through and tied a bow. So how easy is that? Then for this one, I had laminated some leaves. And so I just took a sheet of that and put the paper in behind and stapled it. And I thought this one would be cool if they wanted to write from the back and then this is a little bit stiff so it would be good for writing on however they choose to do that and then I just covered the staple with a piece of washi tape okay so that was number two this one was also done with laminated leaves and it's so pretty and then I fed some raffia through and I just tied two bows. So that's kind of a little bit on the rustic side. I like that one as well. And then I did this one. I have some laminated dried flowers and I just felt that was a little bit plain. So I just put some stenciling and some background script on the first of the receipts and put some lace through the holes there. So that's another one. And I've got two more ready to go here, so I thought we could do those together quickly. Um, this one is the book page that I had stamped with the butterflies. Love that effect. Um, just all different browns that I had. And then, I mean, you could do different colors too, but I just really like the shades of brown and then I found this um it looks like vellum and I'll treat it like vellum it's actually the mat in the laminating pouches so I put that on top and then I just have to figure out which is the top there and then so I just I think I want the butterflies turned up around though like so so then for these the idea is that they use up the paper and then they can keep what's whatever is laminated as a keepsake or they can refill it up if they want so for this one I think I'll go ahead and put the holes in the center and then I need something to close this with. And since the butterflies are brown and I still have a bunch of this lace, I actually ended up cutting the skinny part off because I thought it would fit into the holes better. So I'll use the other section here. that for something else. So yeah, just feed that through. So how are you all doing today? Are you enjoying your week? 
um, this will be part of Meg's series, the Ready Stash. Sorry, what was it again? Ready Set Stash. Pardon me. Hashtag Ready Set Stash. And so this will be in her playlist. And if you haven't checked it out yet, it's been so much fun to participate and to see what everybody else has come up with. Um, I'm so far behind watching videos, but tis the season for that too, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to now attempt to tie a knot with loops like we do when we first <laughs> learn how to tie shoelaces. Something like that. I do like the bows to be a little on the smaller side. Like there. So I could cut those smaller, but I think what I would sooner do is make those a little bit bigger and then tie another knot. If I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so these are going probably into the youth journals. But I thought they were so cute. And they're so versatile. I mean, you could pick whatever you want on the cover. And you can make them as thick or as thin as you want. And they come together really quickly unless you're trying to do something on camera. Then, of course, it uh, all falls apart. <laughs> okay, so then this is the last one that I had ready. And this is where I had laminated some mesh. And it's got the uh, leaves on it silver on one side, gold on the other. Of course, I'm going to put the gold to the front. And then for this one, I think I'm going to do the raffia again. And Like I said, so versatile and you can pick anything you like, any paper, any cover, anything to close them. And it's a great scrap buster. You could use whatever you have, like um, this was left over and the, this part was left over. So. You know, you just have fun with what you have. And they're all going to turn out somewhat different because none of them were exactly made the same. So with the last one, I, when I did the raffia, I had... Actually, I went in twice. And came back. Just because raffia is actually paper and I wanted it to be a little more sturdy there. So how I got the double bow is I just tied one and made the loops kind of small. And then did the whole thing again. Just tied another knot. 
and then I kind of played with it so that the the bows would be on top and the string would be on the bottom. And then I just played with the raffia so that it actually looks like it was a bow. But something like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it's nice when it stays together. like the shorter the video the more it goes wrong here <laughs> okay so now it's not going to cooperate for me okay so what I'm gonna do oh maybe I needed to tie a knot there first could that be it okay come on There, that's not going anywhere. And then you can poof that open if you want. I'm just gonna shorten it this time. Like so. All right, so that's what I have for you today, short and sweet. So maybe you'll try those and uh, let me know which one you like the best here. If any, I have so many laminated leaves now, I gotta think of projects to use them up. So. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.